guys, it's Julia Card, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'll be giving you guys a review of my Birkin 30. I have it in the Blue Nui color, as well as Gold Hardware and Togo Leather. And I'm so excited to share with you guys my list of pros and cons as it pertains to this bag. I've had it for about a year. I got it in October of 2019. And so I feel like I can really give you guys my honest opinion on it and whether or not I would buy this bag again. So let's get into it. So my first pro is that it is a classic and timeless bag. So when I went to buy the Birkin, in my head, I was like, okay, if I'm gonna spend money on a luxury bag, because a lot of these bags are quite expensive, I wanna buy something that will stand the test of time as well as something I can pass on to other members of my family. Other bags will go in and out of style, not all of them, but some of them. And for me, I just couldn't justify spending $1,000 here, $2,000 there on like a few bags every season. So instead I was like, you know what? My very first luxury purchase is going to be on a classic bag. And that is exactly why I had my eyes on the Birkin. My second pro is that you can use this as a day and evening bag. I know a few people will probably disagree with me here, but in my personal opinion, I truly do feel like this can function for both. So obviously during the day, I feel like most people think of the Birkin 30. I did wear this bag um, to my dinner at Nobu for my birthday, and you can see a photo here of me wearing it with this dress. And honestly, I thought that it looked so great and so elegant. My third pro is the price point, which might come as a big surprise to you guys because everyone must think like, oh wow, Birkins are so expensive, which they are for sure. But it's almost like this misnomer where if you Google like a Birkin 30 in the US and the first Birkins that come up are usually on the resale market. So you can see these for like $14,000. So obviously there's going to be an up um, tick in terms of the price when it's on the resale market, which I think most people don't know about when they're first looking into Birkins. And that's why it seems so scary. But this bag, I actually got it in Europe, which is already cheaper than the in-store price in the US um, boutique. So in France, I was able to get it for around 8K. And that for me, for this bag, I feel like that is a great price point. My Chanel Medium Classic Flat that uh, my husband got me, that was around 5K. So for me, I'm like, okay, the, for a bag that's not as accessible and for something that takes so much time to um, make it through these artisans in France, I think that the extra 3K is warranted. Next pro might be a surprise as well, but it's, it's a pro when it comes to playing the Hermes game. I truly feel like if there was a pro through this process, it's that you get a story at the end of the day. So everyone has a very unique story in terms of how they got their bag. So some people went in for the first time and were just immediately offered the bag. Other people, you know, tried numerous times and maybe the very last time they asked for the bag, they got offered the bag. It's just so interesting to me to listen to all these stories about how people got their Birkins or Kellys and I, I find that so cool and not only is it really cool to hear about, I personally find this bag to be even more meaningful to me because there is such a really unique story that goes with it. And then my last pro when it comes to this bag is something that I feel like is a little awkward but I just want to be really transparent with you guys. I think that people treat you nicer when you have this bag and I really wish that wasn't the case. And it's something that I didn't even think was going to happen when I got the bag, but there have been so many times where I've been out and someone notices the bag and they just like start talking to me, whether it's an essay at another store, maybe they wouldn't be nice typically to me, but then they are a lot nicer because they see the bag and they're like really amazed by it and then they want to help me more with getting other things. Other times it's been waiting on a long line to get seated at a restaurant and then other people who are around me, um, you know, I don't notice this, but like when I've gone out with friends, they'll be like, wow, they were really staring at you bad, which is why they totally picked up conversation with us. So that, I don't know actually if that's a pro. I feel like maybe sometimes that could be a con because then I feel like you have to be careful when you have this bag because you just want to make sure people aren't being nice to you for the wrong intentions. But hey, at the end of the day, I just want kindness and positivity. So if people are gonna exude that towards me more because I have a bag, great. But of course, like um, I just wanna be, say that because I feel like nobody says that when it comes to the pros. But yeah, for me, it was a big difference. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of shocked. 
buy that. Let's get into the cons of this bag. There are no cons specific to this bag. This bag is literally perfect. I don't think it has a single flaw. Like I'm actually obsessed with this bag. But there are cons when it comes to the process around this bag that I just want to lightly touch on. So the first con is that you can't always get your exact color combination, hardware, leather that you want. So thankfully when I went to the store, I always had in mind that I was just going to be open-minded. I want a neutral, preferably um, color wise, so that would go with a lot of my clothing. I wanted it to have gold hardware because I wear a lot of gold and I wanted Togo leather since I heard of its durability and for me as my first bag I didn't want to have to worry as much. So this definitely was what I wanted. I said those exact things and I think the only color I was open to at the time was red. So if it was going to be a pinkish purple I would not have accepted that color which I was actually offered a Prupri and a Kelly and I turned that down. But that's a con, the fact that you can't just say, hey, I want a um, black Birkin with gold hardware and Togo leather. Number two con is the fact that you have to play the Hermes game and how expensive it can get. So I told you guys how I got this bag in France and that was a lot better in terms of price. If you're gonna play the Hermes game outside of France, pretty much from what I've heard from other people, and this is not, you know, only the case but i think a majority of the time you typically have to spend the amount of the birkin bag in non-leather goods before you're even offered the birkin bag that's a lot of money because like i said in the us it's around 10k for a birkin so imagine spending another 10k on other goods that aren't leather so that's 20k you're putting down for a bag so for me that's a huge con which is also why i hate to say it but I haven't developed a really strong um, Hermes SA relationship in the US because it doesn't really feel like I'm incentivized to do so when I know I can go to France. I hate, I, don't, I hope they don't take away the advantage in France, but uh, yeah, that, that is exactly why I haven't really bought a lot here in the US and prefer to buy my Hermes goods now in France. Okay guys, so that's it for the cons list, which leads me to answering the question, would I buy this bag again? And the answer is, Yes, 100% yes. Like I said, this was my first in-store luxury purchase ever. And I do not care that I was like seen as crazy by my friends and family for trying to get my first luxury purchase as a Birkin. And they thought it was insane. And they were like, you're not gonna be able to do that. There's no way, they're not gonna offer it to you. And I'm so, so appreciative that I was able to put my mind to it and able to successfully get one. But not only that, I felt like I was like, if I have a Birkin 30 or a Birkin 25, I'm not really going to want that many more handbags of the same size. And to be quite frank with you, I haven't really had that like intense urge to buy a bag as I did for this Birkin 30 and I couldn't be any happier to have this bag. I really hope that everyone achieves their holy grail bag whether it's this bag or another bag. That's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed listening to me give you the rundown on this bag please give it a thumbs up. Also be sure to hit the subscribe button as well to stay tuned for more luxury videos. I post every Sunday and yeah hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Okay guys, so sorry. I actually forgot to have the close shot when I was filming, so I just put it on so you can see in the close-ups, but here's the bag. Absolutely stunning.